Welcome back, everybody, in another episode of Factorio. This is episode number 19 of Recursion, Recursion. Today is the day we finish the base. Let me rephrase that. Today is the day we're going to fill in all the missing gaps in the base. There will still be some things to finish. We will need many more outposts. We're going to need to add more trains to our network. We'll need to tinker with some things. But today, we're going to fill in all the missing gaps inside the base. And there are a lot. So many, in fact, that it is going to take a stupid amount of things to fill in all these different gaps that are still in the base, all the different factory floors we haven't finished filling out. That is an alliteration. How about that? So I've had the game running for multiple days. In fact, one day I just left it running overnight so that we could craft enough speed modules, productivity modules, and the new robot Mark IVs to run all of this. We're going to start out today with filling in the rest of the smelting, all the iron, the copper, the steel, as well as the gear wheels, which we have grouped in here with our iron smelting. So in total, the amount of different factory floors we've got to fill in is 35. <laughs> 35 factory floors. 35 times this, this blueprint. Uh, I guess minus, uh, we don't need all these roboports anymore. But 288 speed modules, 208 productivity modules, and we're going to start with, let's say, 150 to 200 fusion-powered logistic robot Mark IVs per level. That is a silly amount of stuff. Every one of these robots, just as a reminder, takes about 6,000 green circuits. So, yeah, that's a lot of things to craft. It's taken ages, but we're finally able. I've been doing random tinkering around the base while all that stuff was was happening. Some of the time, I was actually just AFK. Like, if I have to go get groceries or run some errands, I just leave the game running. I did some tinkering to the uh, like the, the outposts and that kind of thing. I updated this guy from our old layout to a new copper outpost, which is very similar to our to our iron outpost. Only I, I laid it out a little bit more efficiently by bending in the outer belts to the inner to the the first cargo wagon here right away, so that we have this nice pleasant diamond formation. Almost looks like. The Millennium Falcon before it lost the uh, whatever cargo thing they uh, retrofitted onto it to make an excuse for why that gap was there. And this this outpost here, this copper patch, 136 million. It's so large in terms of the area it takes up. I turned it into two different outposts. So there we go. That's pretty cool. And I also modified a little bit our iron outpost layout. Just uh, tweaked a few things. It looks mostly the same. There's that. Okay, let's go into the base. Let's go look at our creation center. I've replaced a lot of the robots inside the base with the new robots. You can see it looks a little bit anemic in here. I have an idea of what we're going to do to make this look a little bit more fabulous. We'll get to that probably not this episode, maybe the episode after. Let's run in here. So uh, some of the levels do not have new robots, but a lot of them do. Most of the base layer smelting floors, the ones I had already produced, they... They have old robots. We have to replace those eventually. In here, I needed to produce more circuits, so or more modules, rather. So I created an entirely new area to make modules, and this is a little bit more space efficient in terms of the amount of little gaps and stuff than my other one, and it requires less robot interaction. It's not a perfect ratio. We've got one Speed Module 3 getting fed by two Speed Module 2s. That's not quite perfect, but it's good enough. And it's more space efficient and requires less robots, like I said. And we've just got some uh, real basic stuff going on. These guys are crafting. There's a lot in there. Let's see. I'm going to... We'll leave that there for now. All right. Inside here, though, here is where all of our stuff gets made for the most part. And here are all of our chests. This is what I've been crafting. Every single one of these represents the blueprint for one smelting floor. So these guys right here, this cluster of four, and then these top two rows, all the way down here, these two are the gear wheel levels, because they're a little bit different. And then I have some others I've also been working on. So this one, that's uh, nuclear power, if we need more nuclear power. Uh, this one is crude oil refining. But I think we should start with, let's start with these two. We've got a lot to do. I still have a lot more to craft. Once we're done with this, we are backed up on our circuits, so I want to uh, start, make sure all of our things are crafting, so we want to fill in all this stuff, and then go craft more. Oh, 
Okay, that takes care of the gear wheels. Now I just take a few of these at a time. Maybe I can carry... Yeah, I can probably carry three of these at once. There we go. And that takes care of about a third of the smelting floors. While we're working on the rest, we should make sure that our base doesn't shut down as much as it currently has. So let's make sure the robots are working on filling out the next step which will be the oil refining. We're gonna need eight more of these floors and I've got one set up here. This this recipe, I guess, bigger than the other ones, although it looks like it has room. But anyway, we'll just, uh, I'll just use what I have set up here already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Double level, we'll do the copy paste. And then the copy paste. And then the robots. Hey, robots, we have a delivery. So with all that done, a large percentage of the base is filled out. It's not finished, but it's filled out. I still have to go and allow all of the requester chests to send things around. All of those all of those different floors we just filled in, they're not really doing anything yet. So we want to fill everything in, and then I'll go around and I'll basically turn on each floor one at a time. Let's see. Let's do a little bit of an overview and see how many floors we have left to do. And maybe I haven't done a walkthrough of the base in a little while. And it can be confusing if you don't know your way around, if you didn't design it like I did and haven't spent 400 hours here. Okay, so everything in here is filled out. We've got, you can see there's no robots flying around in this guy or this guy, because I haven't set up those requester chests yet, but this guy is active. We're not doing research, we're not flying around a, uh, a lot of oil anyway. Most of it is going to blue circuits, which doesn't require too much. This is power, which we can add more to. This allows up to 20 gigawatts. And we're currently pulling almost 12, so we may actually have to upgrade this and add more power. But this whole floor, everything is done. This is the uh, lubricant and the light oil. Light oil cracking. Everything is there is done. Everything in this guy is done. The iron, the steel, and the gear wheels. So then we go one floor deeper. So everything in here is done. This is the copper plates. Everything in here, green circuits, that's all filled out. So we go one floor deeper, now we're here. And some of these floors still need to be filled out. Let's go do like a running count to see how many. And I've uh, I've used up all of the fast robots that I had crafted, so we have to wait a while to craft more. This is filled out, this is my uh, supplementary light to petroleum cracking I added. We've got one there, because you can see the label is missing an icon. We got one there, and okay, two, three. Those are all filled out. And then in here, let's just pop in. Because this goes a level deeper. Four, five, six. Okay, three low density structure factories have to be filled in. So that's six. Six total factories to fill in. That's no big deal, really. They're making more complicated stuff, but it's using basically the same parts. All blue circuits is done. What about in here? The speed module ones. Okay, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Ten more factory floors. What about in here? We've got... That one's ready. These have to be updated. Okay, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right. Fourteen factory floors. I love counting. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, fourteen factory floors. That's done. That's done. That is going deeper. And now we're up to this guy. Let's go one floor deeper. 14 is the current count. Let's poke our nose in here. 14, it's okay. 15, 16. 16 more. We've uh, we've filled in like 40 today so far. So 16 is no big deal, relatively speaking. 16. Oh, those are all filled in. Okay, lovely. Let's go one floor deeper. Uh, this is filled out. We'll have to add, I guess we'll have to turn on more of our rocket silos, but this floor is done. One floor in there, 17 floors, two floors in here, 19 floors. And that's it. Okay, we've got 19 more floors to fill in, and then the entire base, aside from more mining outposts, will be 
mostly finished. 90%, give or take. All right, everything is plugged in and turned on. There's probably not enough robots on every floor for everything to be going full speed, but that doesn't really matter because the robots out here are freaking out. This is the last place in the base where we've got the old style robots, the vanilla ones, and they really cannot handle the amount of stuff I'm asking them to do. I've got 7,500 of them here. They're not all being used, but you can see that they are really struggling. Uh, they're all charging all over the place, mostly idle trying to charge. And uh, this request that I'm giving them, uh, they can't really handle it. This is only asking, oh, that's the buffer chest. The actual chest, it's under here somewhere. Uh, let's see if I can find it, there we go. All right, here's the chest. This is the amount of copper that they are managing to push through. And then the, the amount of iron is uh, this one. Yeah, they can't handle that either. So we're gonna have to update these guys. I just thought, oh, oh gosh. I just thought I would leave it like this for a second. Not really sure what our final power concerns are going to be, but at least right now, while we're not quite going at full capacity, we are at uh, like 16 gigawatts. We've got a capacity of up to 20, and then we'll have to add more of these nuclear reactors in here. Let's look at our production. So over the past minute, we have been doing a bit over 5,000 science per minute, which uh, sounds good with our 20% Productivity bonuses from our research labs, we should be getting 6,000 if everything is going full speed. But I don't think that's going to be sustainable. I just think there's lag in the system because of all these all these requester and provider chests that had uh, leftover. Like, look at this one getting drained slowly. And let's run up in here real quick. I added more rocket silos. Every floor is has uh, robots in it. I even... Oh no, I have not replaced the slow robots here. Let's go in here. I've got uh, a few more rocket silos now. Are these guys still backed up? That's backed up. That's backed up. That's backed up. But I have a, have a feeling that that will run out in not too long. Just because uh, we can't provide enough iron and copper and probably the oil as well. Gonna have to add some more outposts. The lag hasn't really gotten any better. It's gotten a little bit worse. We are at about 18 or 17 frames per second. But it didn't get way worse. I effectively, I more than doubled the size of the base. And we only lost a couple frames. So hey, that's a small victory. Let's run in here. Are these guys all still going crazy? Seems like it. Do we have enough robots in here? Yeah, we do. This uh, floor is pretty simple as far as the rest of the base is concerned. And each of these has the 20% productivity bonus. So... If we're doing 5,000, 20% of 5,000 is an extra 1,000. We should be consuming 6,000, right? But we haven't got past 5,000. So at least uh, we don't seem to be quite, unless I uh, made a mistake somewhere, we don't seem to be quite, a, quite at capacity just yet. So the next thing to do, which is going to be a little bit of a hassle, is we've got to replace all of these robots with new robots. I managed to scrounge together 1,250 of the new robots most of which I got from uh, scraping them from other floors that I put too many in. A lot of the floors in the base, by the way, only have like 50 robots because I just didn't have enough. It just takes too many. They're too hard to craft. It takes too long. And I'm going to have to pick up a lot of roboports and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, we're going to start this process by basically shutting off demand to the base. So we're just going to reverse the arrows for iron, for copper... And we'll also do, uh, we'll keep the rocket fuel going out so trains can run. Oh, okay. Let's, uh, this has become a problem in the base. Robots need a place to store stuff sometimes. We have these little alerts here that, uh, they don't have logistics space because they overfill these things and then whatever. So anyway, uh, I need to put little storage chests around here and there. We reversed the iron and the copper. Now we need to do the oil and the water. And then the, uh, I guess, stone and coal as well. Let's reverse that and reverse this guy. And we will leave, let's see, we want the uh, uranium, or not uranium, uranium coming in and the sulfuric acid going out so we don't crash our power system. 
Turn that around. Turn that around. Okay, so those exterior chests should all fill up, and then the robots should run out of things to do. We might need to craft more barrels. Ever since I added all of those, uh, everything else that needs oil or water, or the different bottled concerns, the barreled concerns, we don't have uh, extra barrels here anymore, so I might have to craft some. And all of a sudden, the robots are done. Uh, okay, so I want to get all the robots out first. So I'm actually going to dump these guys in there. And now I've got to just, I guess, kind of run around without a better way to do it. They really need to add a way, like a vanilla way in the game, some kind of box to put into an area that will suck up, like you can request a certain number of logistics robots or construction robots to, uh, like, I want to uh, pull these from the system. There should be some little chest that you can create, uh, like a robot siphoning chest, part of the vanilla game. There may, Maybe there's some mod I'm not aware of, but it needs to be part of the game. For, for uh, like, if you're using a lot of robots, it can be really tricky to get all these robots out. It's my inventory. Oh my gosh, it's gonna fill up. We've got 7,500 to fill out or pull out, and then I've got to remove a bunch of roboports, and it's gonna look really weird out here. Well, this looks a little bit weird without all those roboports everywhere. We're gonna have to do something to make it look a little bit less like a parking lot. Okay. Anyway, uh, so. All the robots have been taken out. They're all right here. I got the new robots here. We need to turn on the, uh, or rather, you just reverse all the flows here. Reverse the flow so we can have the stuff going back in. Go inside, go inside. Oh no, that one needs to go out because that's going out to make barrels. Okay, so those three, that goes in, that goes out to make, uh, what do I need, iron? Oh, we need iron to make, I don't know, it's for something, I forget. Doesn't matter. Okay, so the next thing's to reverse. We need to reverse this guy, and then uh, this guy. There we go. And then these two, right there. So that's in, that's in, that's in. We've got robots flying around in here now. They're not gonna have much to deliver for a second. Just making sure I did them all correctly. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay, what is this one supplying? Uh, water barrels, I think. All right, let's see what happens. Maybe let's go to the map view. Okay, let's add the robots. I think I'll add, let's add, uh, let's just put them all in. If there's uh, leftover, I can pick them up later. 1,250 robots. Drain these trains. How many are active? They are all being used. Well, I did have 7,000 out, but uh, everything was empty, so they might even out. We might need more. We'll probably need more than 1250. This is just how many I have. Maybe we won't. They seem to have caught up a little bit. Okay, let's look at these chests. Oh, you know what? Uh, let's do science. So everything is uh, getting used. Oh my goodness, that's so much faster than it used to be. Do you remember what that looked like a minute ago? That's way faster. Okay, these trains, maybe these trains in the back are finally going to move soon. Okay, this is not getting used as much. Uh, but this is the one that goes to the smelting. Holy cow. That's what I'm talking about. What about the copper? Yeah, that's pretty good. 4,000, that's as much as we can request there. Maybe, let's see, this is, maybe we can update our buffer chests to the new ones so that we have more available things over here. Let's say that I want this buffer to buffer 4K. And what is this? There's nothing there. I can actually see what's going on. We don't have such a, a huge cloud. It's amazing. I haven't seen these chests in ages. We can replace this one. If I can see a little bit, that is, uh, this is also, a, oh, that one's already been, no, that has not been upgraded. Okay, let's get all these upgraded. We want a lot of resources around here. And we want these to request 4,000 each. So that when these guys need stuff, they can draw right from these, which are next door. All right, that's, which one had uh, this one? Okay, copy paste that into these other values. Oh my goodness, yes. Okay, so um, our, we don't have any, or our copper cable is way low, I guess, cause uh, there's lag in the system. Our iron smelting jumped up to 150k, but a lot of those floors only have 50 robots, the transfer floors. So I can't... Oh, they're going in. Oh, that's really cool. Look at the waves they're going in. Oh, that's really neat. 
I can't imagine we're going at full speed on the inside, and we are using, I guess periodically at least, all the robots are getting used. Well, I've at least done something right, because for the first time since we remade this train station system, I think like what, episode one? Every single train station for iron ore is empty. We've completely drained it. We are consuming 250,000 iron ore per minute. If you remember very early on when I was setting up these trains, I said we would need 400,000 per minute. And so I guess the next thing to do would be to uh, work on adding a lot more trains to our system and optimizing their routes. And uh, how many go to each of the different mining outposts? Like, I think I could probably add an extra one to these guys. They all just got drained right at once, but I think we could probably have four on those. We need to add more iron outposts. There's a lot of outposts to be added, which are kind of far away. Like this guy has 40 million and there's one here with 27 million and we go really far away. We have some really big ones. This is a guy, this is 120 million. This guy, that's kind of small. Only 23 million, a mere 23 million iron ore. whoop de doop -dee. Phew. Okay, but I think I've reached a stopping place. I think we can stop. Look at these robots drain these trains of iron ore. And I don't even have enough robots in here. I've got to, I got to craft more. We need more robots, and it takes forever to craft them. So I don't know when the next episode will be, but uh, just be sure that I'm working on it, and it'll be out when it's ready. That'll do it for this episode, though. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, leave your comments below. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.